So on this uh, cold, dreary day, I figured I'd make a video and kind of explain a little bit of stuff for you guys. I see a lot of questions online, just not good, broad answers. It's very pinpointed. What do I charge it with? What do I do? Things like that. Uh, first things first, you got a little third turn CNC cover right here with a weather seal. This is your plug. Um, this right here is the stand it comes with. And if you leave it alone, all of it's in here. You get, quite frankly, not really enough length. When it's on the stand, it, it barely fits. It's right there. Um, but this does retract, comes out. This is your 110 plug from Stark, uh, it's about 30, 40 bucks. Um, does not come with this. If you guys are in the US, you will need to get something. Um, they have them on Amazon, but we got them from Stark. This is the uh, L14 30 plug, 30 amp, 220 volt plug. Um, most generators come, like most 220 volt generators are gonna have this plug, uh, RVs, stuff like that. So we went with this because we have two bikes and while this thing doesn't have the capacity to full full bore fast charge both of these bikes, if I turn down the amperage down to eight, it will do both bikes. Um, we have a 110, which I'll show you here in a minute, which is just for play days, things like that, when we don't want to chuck this around. Um, it was about 700 bucks, it's an open frame. They have a 5500 watt that is a closed frame that's quite a bit quieter. It's about the same weight, about the same size. I mean, my wife can move this around, it's 110 pounds, it's not unbearable. You hook up battery, put oil in it, you go. Um, so, before I fire all of these up, I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, charger. It's an Elcon 3300 watt charger. Um, you do have a max input voltage of 16 amps and a max output voltage of 10 amps. So, even though you have 30 amp 110 plugs, this will not take it. It will not take the more than 16 amps. And they say it won't do more than 1600 watts on 110, but we've seen seven, high 17s, 1800, when it's at like that peak power that it really will take a lot of juice. Um, but on your, on your screen, on your charging, when it says you can scroll it up to 10 amps, this is what it's talking about. So. There's a lot of people that are taking these out and they're putting them in a hard case and they're kind of putting this in the case and they're just, this is the case, which I plan on doing. One of these is gonna stay in a case. One of them's gonna stay in the charger. So um, other than that, they're pretty straightforward. Um, it seems like when they hit about 90%, they start to slow down, uh, which is obvious. They're just trying to protect the battery. So. What the goal of, that I've got here is, mine's at 69%, nice. It's, um, we're gonna charge it on 110, it's probably gonna go to about 80 something, and then we're gonna kick hers on. Hers is at like 21%, and we're gonna 220 charge it. We're gonna do a time lapse, check the end of the video for the time lapse, I'm not gonna throw it in here, but we're gonna kick them on 15, 20 minutes, probably, you know, what you're taking up. Uh, break out the track. That's about what we take. Hang out, get a drink, talk to friends. So we're going to kick both these on. We're going to run them for 15, 20 minutes, check back on them, see where we're at. Um, the 220, we've been getting about a percent a minute. That's just the rough, rough deal. Uh, we really haven't been charging 110 much, except for when we come home, we put it on, we click it over to slow charge and just let it charge overnight. And which generator is this? This is the uh, Ryobi 2300 watt. Um, and I'm actually really happy you brought that up because after we kick it on, um, most of these small generators, whenever you plug these in, you're kicking a hard load, kind of like an electric heater or something like that. Um, it, it's output at idle is probably four or 500 watts. We're hitting it so hard that it'll actually stall out. So on these kind of generators, we've got a Predator 2300, 2000 watt, kick idle off because if I didn't kick the idle off, it probably see it didn't like it. But it'll kind of figure it out, get it kicked up. So we'll get this one going, and then we'll come back. We'll hit five laps. She'll check out the phones while I keep going.
coverage on this one, so but we're just going to assume it's maxed out at 3,300 watts because it chilled at like 9 to 10 amps the whole time on the screen. Um, we have Bluetooth on that one so it can tell us what our output wattage is, and it hovered around 18 to 1830, and the output voltage on that was 118, which is teetering right at the max input uh, amperage of 16 amps. So it seems like you can get about 1800 watts of charging on 110. Um, in 20 minutes of charging, mine, mine put in, she'll, she'll fact check me, is it was, it was around 13%, 13, 14% in 20 minutes. And hers on 220 put on 25% in 20 minutes. So we're actually a little over a percent a minute. So 20 minutes may not be able to bang out another moto, but 45, 30, I mean, you, you can bust out what I can pull. I mean, a V30 class guy, that's about as much as I can ride. So, appreciate you guys. Uh, check out for more content. We're going to be putting out a couple of things, um, parts fitting on the bikes, other stuff like that. Did you want to talk about how the temperature in the stand was more? Oh, good. Yes. Um, so, outside of the stand, we were not, we we're just outside temperature. It's about 45 degrees today. It's just outside temperature. Um, I saw her checking, I'm assuming it was around 65 degrees. So 100 degree day, that thing's probably pretty dang toasty. So maybe some benefit of taking it out of the case. Maybe not. Um, do as you will, guys, but appreciate you. Take care. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, feed it in. Oh, right. <laughs> That's why we can't have anything nice. I don't gotta push bikes no more. <laughs>